All right, if you actually searched for this, there's a good chance that your new PowerSmart 4400 watt generator is giving you problems. In my case, this is the third time the engine has completely seized. And obviously the first time that happened was about a week and a half after the no return point to Amazon. And then if you're like me, you read all of the one star comments at that point to see why everybody who didn't like it didn't like it. And a number of them had this engine seizure problem. I say this is the third time because I've resolved it twice, and today I'm going to show you the two ways that I've figured out how to do that. Okay, now when I say the engine is seized, basically, no matter what I do, nothing wants to pull start. If I pull really hard, the entire assembly moves, <clears throat> so it's not doing anything. So method one, the very first time that this happened, is disassemble the entire engine. Take all of these components off, remove the pull starter, make sure there's nothing obstructing the fan. I removed the back, I removed all the timing gears, the camshaft, the, um, the overhead valve. I looked at all of, you know, I looked at the valves, the springs. I was able to physically see and mess with the piston inside of the chamber by cranking this by hand and it was still fully locked up. After jiggling it with everything taken apart for some time, it just magically started working again. So method one is disassemble the entire thing and then still not know why it's not working. If you, if you successfully do method one and you don't find anything that's broken or visibly obstructing anything, then you're probably just experiencing whatever it is that I'm experiencing. And this is the, again, third time we're gonna do this. So on to method two, <clears throat> method two, you're gonna want to take your generator, set it on the ground, find your exhaust side. All right, I'll put it like this. So the exhaust is, I guess, facing that way. Gently roll it onto its left side. All right. <clears throat> and then this is where, you know, it gets technical. Just sort of give it a Give it a good kick or two. And if that doesn't free it up, lay it back on its side. Slap the shit out of it. And then just continue with the jerk it. Slap it. Until it frees up. At uh, which point you can choke it. You know, you're going to want to jerk it, slap it, and choke it. Make sure it's on. Make sure you have some gas. Unchoke it. And you're golden. As ridiculous as that seems, again, that's the, that's the third time I've had to do that. Still don't know why it keeps doing that. And it only does it after it's shut off and has cooled down. So maybe that's related. But anyway, hopefully that helps you out.